Questions for Kyle? Hey, Kyle. Uh, what, what was it like tonight? I mean, the back and forth, the craziness of the game, the highs, the lows, 47,000 people. What was it like? Yeah, it was uh, It was pretty damn exciting, man. It was awesome. It was uh, just an incredible atmosphere, awesome game. I mean, you know, you had some highs in there. You had some lows in there. I mean, it was just, you know, all around a lot of fun and, you know, one of the most fun games I've ever been a part of. You're standing there watching – Mitch's at bats. I mean, you know, right there, what are you seeing tonight from that guy? Well, I, I mean, yeah, Mitch is incredible. I, I don't I don't think he gets enough credit, honestly. I mean, how many guys in this league can go, you know, he's at 39 home runs and drive in 100 and score 100? I mean, that is truly unbelievable. I mean, kind of that 100 has always been the, uh, I don't know, maybe the old school traditionalist, but that kind of elite marker. And you got a guy that's doing both of them. I mean, that's truly incredible. So, I mean, you, you can't say enough about him. And it's not just tonight, obviously. I mean, you don't get to those numbers without, you know, doing it all year. But – and then, you know, he – and C-Shack's tough, man. That's a tough at bat, especially for a righty. I mean, that guy's been, you know, a closer for a long time. He's pitched in high leverage situation. He did him here, you know. So, I mean, we're, we're very – at least, you know, I'm very familiar with him. I don't know how many guys played with him. But it's a uh, – just – it was unbelievable. Well, there's only been a couple of times in your career you've come to the last day and it's had any any significance. I guess in, in a broad sense, what does it mean for you to, to come to game 162 and have something on the line? Yeah, I mean, that's the goal, right? That's that's always been the goal. You know, you always want to you always want to play for something bigger than yourself. You always want to, you know, be a part of something, you know, bigger than just your own personal you know, agenda or goals or, you know, stats or anything like that. You you want to play for something bigger and, you know, we get the opportunity to do that tomorrow. Kyle, when you saw Mitch a couple of years ago and he came back from the, the surgeries, what did he look like to you? It looked, you know, he was so skinny and he just was weak looking almost. And to see where he's at now, can you believe that's the same guy? Well, not looking almost. He absolutely looked weak, right? I mean, he, you know, the surgeries he went through, the things he's had to do, I mean, it's truly incredible. You know, he, he's a, he's a very, you know, very gifted athletically, you know, obviously, but, you know, his, his work ethic and his, you know, fight and his ability to, you know, kind of, I don't know, assess situations and, you know, figure out what he has to do to make himself better. And, you know, the amount of time and energy that he puts into his craft is, is, is truly second to none. But yes, when answering your question, he looked he looked very very you know skinny. He didn't you know it didn't look like himself. When when Seawall gives up the homer and you guys come back in the dugout, what was what was being talked about in there? I mean, you guys have come back so often, but that's a gut punch you guys took right there. I, absolutely, it was right. You know, I mean, Paul's been just nails all year. He's been unbelievable. So I mean, you, you're. You're surprised when someone even kind of hits the ball off him, more or less, you know, squares one up and hits a home run. So, I mean, he, he's been absolutely incredible. So, you know, when that does happen, it's definitely, you know, takes you back and it kind of knocks you down a little bit there. But, you know, that's kind of that's kind of been what this team's been all about, you know, just kind of riding the course and then things happen. You know, you got, you know, Kelnick gets on there, you know, works. We got to walk with Bowers. I mean, you know, JP ends up getting a walk there. I mean, you get guys on and then, you know, Mitch, I mean, just do, just does what Mitch does. The Angels really didn't give in. I mean, last night or tonight either. I mean, did you guys just have the sense that you were really going to have to take this down to the wire if you're going to be able to, to pull this one out? Well, I mean, they're, you know, they're a big league team too, right? You know, they're professionals too. So, I mean, you know, they're, you know, they're not fighting for the same thing we're fighting, but, you know, those guys are fighting for a job. Those guys are fighting for their livelihood. So, I mean, and I've been in that situation plenty of times. It doesn't, you know, you're, you're, you're still playing to win the game, right? That's still the ultimate goal. And, you know, playing spoilers is a real, is a real passion. It's a real, it's a real energy. So, I mean, that's a real thing. And those guys care and those guys, you know, want to get their numbers too, right? So, I mean, there's never going to be a letdown in a big league game.